Hey YouTube, my name is Kayla Rain, and today I'm doing the Jennifer Lawrence book tag. I was tagged by Rebecca from Why Mermaids and she's really great so thank you Rebecca. If you just want a fantastic booktuber to watch who reads a variety of books and just does really fun videos and has a great personality, definitely check her channel out and I will link that in the down bar below. Along with that I will link the original tag video which was created by Michael Booklion. Alright, so I'm just going to get started with the tag and I'm pretty excited about this because I genuinely like Jennifer Lawrence. I'm not like super into her, like want to be her best friend and follow everything she does, but I just think she is genuinely a nice celebrity who seems pretty down to earth and true to herself, so I enjoy that. But let's get to the questions. So question number one is growing up in Kentucky, so your favorite book set in a rural area. And for me, that is going to be Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. And I don't actually have a physical copy. I listened to it on audiobook. But yeah, it is set in a small town. And it's pretty fantastic. So yeah, check it out. Number two, Discovery on the Streets. A little known book that you found while browsing. I will be choosing The Fever by Megan Abbott. And I just picked this up randomly one day during the summer because I was looking for kind of a, a short length book because I had a flight that I had to be on and I just kind of wanted to bring a book. I wasn't really feeling any of the books on my shelf so I just went to the bookstore and picked this up on a whim and I really really enjoyed it. Three, swearing off social media. So a book or book series that you will not read. And I have read the first one in this series, and that is the Mara Dyer trilogy, whatever it is, by Michelle Hodkin. I will not be finishing it. I did not enjoy the first one at all, and I'm just not going to finish the trilogy because I wasn't impressed enough with the first book to even be curious about what happens. Number four, Beginnings on TV to Film, a book series that just keeps getting better as it goes. My choice is going to be Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. This is the first one and the books just keep getting better and it's going to be a six book series. Three books are out so far and I am very much looking forward to finishing the series because it seems like it's just really building on itself really well and I'm really enjoying the world. Number five, Oscar Trip, a book or book series that kind of hit a snag. For me, that's going to be Enclave by Anna Guire, and this is the first book in the Razorland trilogy, and I am curious to know what happens with the rest of the trilogy, but honestly, the world building in this book was not to my liking, and the character development was pretty much non-existent, so I... Mm, I want to finish the series, but I'm honestly really disappointed so far. Number six, J-Law and Chris Martin. Favorite book by collaboration of authors. I'm going to go with The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. And this is going to be a book series once again. And this is the first one in it. And I loved it. I just tore through it, ate it up, and really, really enjoyed it. And just a little pointer, the key to enjoying this book is not comparing it to Harry Potter. Because that's just a bad idea. Um, you'll ruin it for yourself if you're just like, well, this happened in Harry Potter. Well, a lot of things that happened in Harry Potter happened in another book. So, there. Seven, work with David O. Russell, a dysfunctional character that you just can't help but love. I am choosing Holland from A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And he is not a technically good character at all. But once you kind of get into his backstory, you, you kind of understand where he's coming from and just, you know, why he's so messed up. And I really liked him and I just, yeah, I liked him. Number eight, Mystique, a villain who has good intentions and thinks what they are doing is right, which is every villain. Am I correct in saying that? I think so. Most villains think what they're doing is vindicated. So yeah. I'm going to choose Dr. Darren Black from The Gigantic Beard That Was Evil by Stephen Collins because, yes, um, the entire town thinks what he is doing is right. So the entire town is kind of a villain in this story. Um, yeah, and I think that is just a good example and I just needed an excuse to talk about this book again. Nine, The Hunger Games. So a high profile book series and I'm totally going to go with what Rebecca said because it just, it makes sense. 
And that is going to be A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Again, first book in the series. I'm just hitting it up with the first books today. But I enjoyed this book thoroughly. I'm going to be starting on Clash of Kings soon. Very high profile series. I feel like everyone and their mom has read it but me. But if you haven't, get on that. Yeah. 10. Everything she has ever said. So your favorite snarky character. And again, Rebecca had a great answer with Veronica Mars, but I'm going to try to throw in a little variety here, and I'm going to say Sophie Mercer from the Hex Hall trilogy, because she was just snarky and had really witty, fun dialogue. Um, yeah. And then, oh, hey, bonus character, Lila Bard from The Darker Shade of Magic. There's another snarky character, and yeah, I'm just going to throw that in there. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I had a lot of fun doing this tag. I really like book tags. They're super fun. But yeah, I'm just going to get to the tagging other people part. So I am going to tag Brit from Looking for Brit and Sarah Ella from her channel Sarah Ella. So you guys are next. You're going to do this tag, right? I will be looking out for it and I anticipate your answers. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos as I upload them. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Stay weird. What was that? Nine. Everything she has ever said. So that's number ten.